Hacking and identity theft is happening more often these days as social media platforms broaden. Kaylin McLaughlin spoke with a local business owner whose Facebook was hacked, and Kaylin, years of memories are now gone. That's right. Could you imagine losing all of your Facebook photos? Business owner Tracy Hyden explained to me how losing access to this social media network has affected her livelihood. Tracy Hyden has been running Mesquite Tree Hill Ranch and Zoo in Iowa Park for three years. Recently, her personal Facebook got hacked. From there, hackers were able to take over the business page, causing Hyden to lose access. You know, Facebook has just been the community bulletin board for us. We're a small town. It's been an easy way to um, keep everybody um, updated on our hours, any special events that we might have. We rely on it heavily for people to send us messages um, to ask questions. Back in June, there were about 10 scams associated with Facebook in Wichita Falls. The director of operations of the BBB says there are multiple ways for someone to gain access to your Facebook account. Answer the quiz. Open the app. Well, what you don't realize is once you've done that, you've compromised your account by letting that app have access to your information. The Mesquite Tree Hill Ranch and Zoo is one of a kind in our area, showcasing many exotic animals and endangered species. The page had years of photos and reviews, and Hyden says starting over will be hard. I feel like somebody broke into my house and stole all the photo albums and all the home videos. Hayden has been in touch with Facebook to recover her account, but so far, there's been no luck. She's now warning community members to think twice before linking social media accounts together. Because if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. We followed all the procedures. We had two-step authentication turned on. We shouldn't have been able to be hacked as easily as we were, but we were. Changing passwords often, logging out of devices, and setting up two-step authentication factors are just a few ways to avoid being locked out of your own page. Hayden has since made a new Facebook account that can be found on our website, and she's encouraging everyone to unfollow the old page. Wow, that is a scary situation, and it stinks that she lost all of that, but she's going to start anew, and I'm sure all of her followers are going to find her again. Okay, Kaylin, thank you so much.